Alright, today we're going to learn how to get these on these to pick up these. Intro. The Absolute Claw. And for this, you know exactly the target you want to pick up. So for this video, I'll just use this eraser here, put it down, and then we start by measuring the sides. Here's the right side. And the left side. Absolute claw testing. There you go. Variable claw. So for this, what if you don't know how tall the object is going to be? But you do know about how large it is. So, for example, let's just put two touch sensors together and make a claw around that. So you would want to build it the same way as you did for the absolute claw, but make room for the height variable. So this shape is perfect. Now the rubber band can act as a support. So it doesn't matter if it's this tall or this tall. It can still pick it up. Could pick up both and make sure you pick it up how you designed it. And of course, rubber bands are your friend. They will really help you in your competitions. Last but not least, what if we honestly don't know what we're going to pick up at the competition? Make kind of a box formation, and then string rubber bands and weave them in this shape so it acts as a pad. Make sure you do a duplicate so it turns into a claw. Now, here's our sample object. Two wheels connected. So for this, you could pick it up here. Or, if it's on a side. Or, you can have the claw slanted and use it as a springboard. Remember, use the rubber band grid. It acts as a springboard when you try to pick it up. Alright, to go over what we learned, this absolute claw has to be precise. There is no room for error if you want to make one of these claws. And your variable claw, make sure you know the variable you are trying to solve for. So for this, you don't know your height, so you at least have to know what your circumference might be. And for these, the we honestly don't know claw, just make sure it's about um, the right volume, so you're not picking up something that's two times taller with something that can't pick up something that's two times taller. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos on what these actually are. And also, um, I helped one of my fellow YouTubers out by making his video. So make sure to check out his channel. It's, you know, gaming and skits and self-explanatory.
definitely come back next time and we'll do some more stuff with these things. See you next time. And subscribe.